Dan Ockley's knowledge of the game runs deep. He's a PGA Tour winner and a three-time champion on the Web.com Tour. Utley is also a renowned teacher. Long buddy giving you trouble. Considered one of the best short game instructors in golf. After earning conditional status on the PGA Tour Champions last December, Utley competed at the recent Tucson Conquistadors Classic and found time to share a tip to help you chip it closer. What do you see with amateurs in terms of how they release the club from off the green, short shots like this, and what should they do? Well, as an instructor, I love to challenge my students with questions. So one of the questions I ask, for, particularly for the student that comes that's really struggling with his chipping and pitching around the green is, does he think or does she think that they're releasing the club too early or too late? And oftentimes they hadn't even thought of that question, but usually their answer is too early, and I disagree. I think it's too late. Because what I see them doing is most students struggling have a dip. You know, and the viewers at home can think about their buddy that they know struggles. My question is, do they dip or do they stand up and pivot and finish on their front leg? And if they really do dip and they release too early, they would hit the ground back here. So what I try to share is, is I want to make sure that that end is swinging, not this end. You see, when I pull this end, that end goes back. So I want to let the club have some freedom with my wrist. I want to use my body to pivot tall and put pressure on the ball so I have shaft lean or impact being solid and kind of in a downward blow. One of the things I like to use is I have this orange whip putter and it's got a flexi shaft. Wow. And if I put this in their hand and they start to pull on the grip, you see on the downswing, the shaft goes this way. That's why they dip because when the shaft pulls and they have this angle that didn't start out with, they can't reach the ground. But I want them to feel like they unload the shaft using their body and their hands stay quiet. They don't have to move their hands back and forth. And that allows them to release the club and use their pivot to deliver the club back and through and their hands deliver the club down so that it has full length and impact. Let's see what that looks like. And once, once they deliver the club to full length, all of a sudden they engage the bounce. I've heard a lot that you should try and keep your left wrist as firm as you can when you're chipping. You're saying you need to release it as well. I, I'm just saying the release isn't this way. Mm -hmm. The release is up and down this way. Gotcha. And when we turn and we have it on this angle, we're releasing this way. The body pivots, creates the, the left wrist being straight and the angle in the right wrist. And the body pivots around. So they want to finish tall and level. That helps them put impact pressure on the ball. So it's not a flip. That's not the release I'm talking about. The release is more down the plane line and it engages the bounce. I oftentimes say for the person that's pulling on the handle, I say, you've really said Gene Sarazen had a bad idea. <laughs> because when you pull the handle forward, you eliminate the bounce angle on the club. Because that, if, it, if you pull the shaft 20 degrees forward and the bounce has 12, you have no bounce. So that's why it's important to let the club head return back in front of you so that you can skid the ground, use the club the way it was designed. Can you show us one more time? So I'm going to have a little pivot. I, I kind of set up left. I have a little pivot back, and I'll let the club release so that it squeezes the ground in the ball at the same time using the bounce. 